Turns out I'm banned from Ulta.com. Hey guys, I'm Brittany Rivers and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you all what I picked up from Sephora and Ulta the other day. I actually have some of these products on today, so we're gonna talk about them. But another big thing I just found out is that I'm banned from placing orders on Ulta.com, which is the real reason I actually went to the store instead of placing my order online. But we're gonna talk about it. So before we get into this video, I'm going to ask that you all remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Madam Brittany, and let's get into this video. Okay, so I really wanted to like spruce up my makeup routine, add a few more high-end products. Like my everyday foundation has been L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, this one. I wear like 511 and usually mix it with 515, but I ran out of 515 and I just had 511. So I really placed the order to get some more 515. So I've been having this problem with Ulta.com for months. I put in all my information and stuff and then when I'm trying to put in my card information, it says the payment didn't go through. I tried Afterpay, PayPal, then just putting in my credit card information and none of it worked. I did what any human would do and go to Twitter and say, um, at Ulta Beauty won't let me check out. Um, they told me to DM them my email, my phone number, and my like first and last name. They DM'd me and said, we'll get back to you in five to eight days. So maybe three to four days later, I just checked my email like before this video. So the email said, because of my order February 23rd, 2020, I can no longer place online orders on Ulta.com. My order February 23rd, I actually remember what they're talking about is the thing, I remember it. So I accidentally placed two orders of the same exact thing because their website was messed up. I know y'all wanna get to the makeup, but we're gonna do that. Their website was messed up and I placed it twice. And then as soon as I noticed, I had placed it twice because I got two confirmation emails. Like I emailed them that I didn't mean to, can you cancel this one? And then they told me we don't do any kind of cancellations ever. And I paid through PayPal. So I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. I'll just get my money back from PayPal. I opened a dispute, told PayPal what happened. And Ulta didn't like that. So I guess they just didn't let me place any more orders. Because the email they just sent me said something about a dispute or something I opened. And then I looked on Reddit and stuff. And they do this all the time. Yeah, be careful. That sucks because I always prefer Ulta to Sephora. I don't know. I just love the drugstore brands. If drugstore offers the same quality of a high-end brand, I'm going to pick the drugstore one. But let me show y'all what I got from Ulta first. I ended up going to the store. So I had to get the Tarte Shape Tape. Everyone always talks about it. So like this is like the one of the most famous like concealers I've heard of. So I ended up getting the color 44H Tan. I'm really excited to try this. I'm not wearing this today. I'm gonna show you all what I'm wearing today. And then I got my Juvia's Place Concealer. I love this concealer, but I got this one like really dark. So it can be like my contour concealer type deal there. So that's why I got that one. I love their concealer, super good. And of course I got my L'Oreal. Like I told y'all, this is like my everyday foundation usually. I decided to switch today but this has been my everyday foundation for maybe like two to three months. Love it. So I also got the Juvia's Place foundation. This is in the color Nairobi 410. I have Burkina and that's like, I forgot what number that is, but that's like really dark and orange. So I initially did a bad review on Juvia's Place like when I first got my foundation. And y'all, people dragged me, <laughs> people dragged me. People dragged me because they were mad that I said anything bad about it, but. I don't know, so, but I'm excited to try this one, 410. I think that one will work for me a little better. It just looks so bad on me. Um, I also got the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I see a lot of girlies use this. I got it in the color 340. I've had it before, but I think I got coconut. This is cappuccino. So really my color has been a little wrong. And I also got darker. So I kind of got more dark colors. Cause sometimes I use 515 and 511, like this one. And I would use more 511 than 515, maybe just a little pump of this to make this a little darker. 
but now I feel like I should use more 515 than 511 because I got darker. And I wanted to spruce up my eyebrow routine. Like, so like my brows are always really like brown, I feel like dark brown. So I wanted like that darker color people get like, it's hard to explain, but like that dark brown. Of course not black, but I got this pomade from NYX. I love NYX, that's another brand that I really love and I'm glad they have it Ulta. So this is like a little pomade, got that in the color Espresso. I got some little pencils. So I wanted to like kind of spice up my makeup looks. Butter gloss from NYX, these are iconic. I have the brush to go with the pomade. Just like, it's like the Anastasia dip brow brush, like the same thing. And this is the brow pencil I, I actually use today, I believe. Oh yeah, this is the brow pencil I use today. So this is like the ultra slim. So it looks so tiny, like look at that. It's really tiny. I think it's bomb. Then I got another brow pencil. So that one was in Espresso. That's the one I used today. And then I have another one. This one is also in Espresso. It has a brush. Then I got some lip liners trying to switch up my lip look because I usually just use a Wet n Wild pencil. Even though I love that one, I still mix that one with one of these today because it has like a little reddish purple in it. These do, but not my brown one. And I wanted more brown in it. Let me show you Sephora. I feel so like high class. Like I feel so fancy going to, to Sephora though. So I think I may be a Sephora girl now because Ulta, it didn't make any sense for them to ban me. Like they should let you cancel your order immediately. Not like I could see if I waited some weeks or even like two days. I noticed immediately. So that's kind of wild to me. So I got the regular. Well, this isn't a regular. I haven't tried it in some years but I got the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. It's just something I felt like I kind of missed. I wanted to try again and I saw someone using it. So this is in 420 and I think it's bomb. Like, so I was just getting stuff and I saw Jackie Aina and what, who is that? Makeup by Jenny. Like everybody used to watch her. Every black girl used to watch Makeup by Jenny, an icon. So I got the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I was like, I like the box. I got the color Chai. I'm really excited to use it and it's matte. I love a nice matte foundation, even though my skin is a little dry sometimes. At least in the winter it's dry. But I decided to get it. It's 24 hours, super excited to try that one. Um, this is a concealer that I also like. I noticed everybody was using this. Like Aaliyah J used this and there's this new girl I'm watching, but I forgot her name. I feel like we're the same color, so I bought this just like looking in the store and then I got on her video in the car and then I realized I got the same color as her so I was happy. But this one has like a nice little orangeness, well not like orangeness, but yellow to it. And I love like a nice concealer that adds some yellow. This is the concealer I'm actually wearing today, you all. So everybody uses this one. I may like double back and get one that's even lighter because I like a really bright under eye, to be honest, like here it is. There it is, somewhat light, but I usually like my under eye a little lighter, but I still like the way this turned out. Like, it looks the way I normally look, I feel. But I really like it. I did two layers because the first one just wasn't given to me. But maybe if I let it sit a little longer before I actually blended it, where I, I wanna get like a concealer brush to blend my under eye concealer instead of using a sponge. And lastly, I got the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I was going there to get the long wear radiant foundation in the color Mako and they didn't have any. They didn't have any so I was like okay the woman talked me into getting soft matte and that's what I'm wearing today. Looks cute. This color is really good for me I feel like I want to go out in the sun and stuff see a few different lightings but the color is giving. I'm really happy I got this and this one is actually like this one is a squeeze bottle so I was a little uh, I was kind of iffy about squeeze bottles, but this cap still like twists off and stuff and you just squeeze it like that. I like this applicator more than the Juvia's Place Foundation app like the way this tube is because this one, it came out like lotion unless they changed it like that. So the cap, this looks like a little Bath and Body Works lotion. And I feel like it seems so tiny. So this one is one fluid ounce and the NARS is actually 1.5. So this one is actually bigger than even 
this, even the Born This Way Foundation, I noticed that today. So this is 1.5 and this one is still only one fluent ounce. So that's good. But yeah, those are my pickups. I'm really excited to try these. I'm going to like try to let you know what foundation I'm wearing when I switch it up. But for now, I think NARS will probably be my everyday. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Put me on to some new makeup brands and new products to try and all that. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a great day, you all. Bye, guys.